All right. It is uh, 28 below outside here in Minnesota, and the wind chill is reaching over negative 50 degrees. Um, a lot of people have asked, would your tongue really stick to a flagpole? Well, we don't have a flagpole, but I do have a metal bird feeder. And um, trying experiment number one, raw chicken. Let's see if it works. See, metal has very low specific heat, so it can conduct heat very quickly. So let's see if any of the heat left in this chicken freezes instantly. Wow. Yeah, look at that. If that was your tongue, I don't think it's coming off. What do you think? Oh no, it's not coming off. All right, experiment number two. Um, let's see what happens when we try to uh, crack an egg on a frying pan. It's been outside for the last three hours, out in uh, 50 below wind chills. Let's see. All right, so have my skillet here and uh, raw egg. Let's see what happens. That yolk is still kind of soft. Look at that. That's about two minutes out in this weather. Um, uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh boy. I think we're making scrambled eggs. Experiment number three the boiling water. Now, since we are at uh, wind chills of negative 50 plus, and the winds coming out of the Arctic have such low humidity. We're going to try some boiling water and see what happens. Ideally, we should see sublimation in action. Okay, so this water just came off the stove. As you can see, it's steaming. Let's see what happens. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Wow. Look at that. Okay, now that my earlobes are going numb, back in the house. One of my favorite polar vortex experiments, bubbles. And I made uh, with a couple of chopsticks and a piece of uh, t-shirt is we're gonna try and make some big bubbles. Now we tried in the back where the wind was a lot stronger and the bubbles were freezing and shattering instantly. We're gonna try in the lee of the wind to see if we can get some bubbles made and freeze them. Come on, let's go. Look at the perfect crystals. It's amazing. Here we go. Here's my bubble. Look at that. I'll see if I can hold it. There. That's beautiful. 